Okay, so um, I'm going to be talking about how we created uh, a multi-source collection of event label uh, news documents. Okay, this is work that uh, was done at the University of Lugano uh, by myself and my then postdoc, Ida Bede, who is now uh, in, at CNR in Pisa. So let me give you some motivation for that. Okay? Uh, we, uh, we are working, of course, in information retrieval and so on, but uh, time is, uh, is becoming more and more important for, uh, for many uh, publication types, in particular news. Um, and in news, there are um, different news wires, and there are different platforms, uh, and many of these news wires, um, ABC, CNN, get published uh, on different platforms, so website, Twitter, RSS feeds, uh, on the, for BBC and CNN, they also have their TV channels, their, maybe their radio, and so on and so on. And um, of course, each one of these platforms has its own characteristics. Uh, uh, for example, on RSS, uh, they want speed. Maybe the, the quality of the news that is coming out is not as important as it is perhaps when it is published on a, on a paper or when it is presented on the news. Um, so we uh, wanted to uh, study, uh, we thought it was useful, first of all, to have a collection that combined all of these things. Uh, the news coming out about a particular event across all different channels, uh, and therefore, BBC, CNN, uh, RAI, uh, and so on and so on, and different uh, publication platforms. And this could have been could have been used, and in fact, uh, we used it in, in, in the context of a project um, for cross-linking, for example, news uh, news streams uh, for uh, first event detection, um, event detection and tracking uh, across uh, different different streams, uh, news recommendation, fake news detection, and so on and so on. So, so we, we set aside to create this multi-source collection of news document um, with fine granularity event labels. So what we wanted to find out is, uh, is if a particular event happened at a particular time, who was the first uh, source that uh, discussed that event, and how this was tracked, uh, how this was uh, republished then on other sources, and on, other, and on other sort of uh, streams like. Um, so that we could track uh, also the, the way the, this particular news was discussed and presented across different, uh, different sources. Uh, so we, um, we thought that this collection uh, was not existing, uh, and uh, especially at, at the level of event. And uh, they also, uh, if there was anyone, it had a very limited coverage, so that meant that you could not really uh, track an event uh, in, in all its development, let's say. Um, uh, so, uh, as I said, we set aside to create this collection because it was connected to a project that was funded by the SPF SIR uh, in, in Switzerland uh, for event detection and tracking across cross, uh, cross streams. Um, so, here is how we went about creating it. So, first of all, we collected a news document uh, from five, uh, sorry, from nine popular news channels and three different platforms. Um, so, which which included more or less 24,000 news article, 43,000 RSS feed, 80,000 uh, tweets, and and on a period spanning uh, four months. We actually collected it over a longer period of time, but we decided to focus on these four months because in these four months. All the channels, uh, all the news channels, all the different platforms work perfectly. Uh, in, in other, in, we collected over a year. There were instances in which, you know, for a day one didn't work, for another day uh, another didn't work, and so on. And so we had, we, we could have get holes in that. Uh, and, and these are the different channels that that, that, that we have collected. As you can see, we, uh, they're all in English, of course, uh, but they they go from Al Jazeera to Reuters to Xinhua and so on and so on. Um, right, uh, so we needed to collect events. Uh, so we follow a two-step approach to create uh, these event sets. Uh, first, we uh, extracted events using a, a, an NLP tool uh, where the rent, where name of entities or event keywords, and name of companies, name of uh, 
people and so on. Um, and we split that uh, in, uh, in buckets uh, so that we could find this event repeated across different buckets. Merging the bucket, if, if, if this were, uh, if an, an event, a particular event was crossing across uh, two contiguous windows. And, and then what we set aside is finding the, uh, the documents in these feeds that were about this particular event. And, and we use a classic uh, information retrieval technique for this uh, to find uh, these, these, uh, uh, these documents. Uh, in particular, retrieval techniques that were goal oriented because we wanted to make sure that we didn't miss any. And so we, we use vector space, uh, vector space model, we use all sorts of query expansion and so on. And, and, and I'll tell you in a minute how we uh, then uh, make sure that these events were really about, the, sorry, the, the, the documents were really about the events. Uh, so the event set, that we, so we collected um, news about uh, 43,000 new, uh, news documents about 57 events. And we labeled them using crowd, uh, Crowdflower. Okay? So this is the kind of distribution uh, in which you know, documents are about a specific event. As you can see, it follows the classic, uh, uh, the classic overload distribution. Um, and um, they, uh, we went from very popular event like the Brexit, uh, the Zika virus, and so on, to very minor event like the volcano, some volcano eruption in Indonesia. That doesn't mean that the event was uh, not important, but it simply meant that it was less covered. There was less coverage in the news that uh, in the news uh, sources that we look at. And the average number of news per event was about seven. Right. For making sure that uh, in creating this collection we had proper uh, rather judgment, uh, so we use, as I said, crowd flowers. We use crowd flowers uh, with 200 also uh, gold standard questions for training evaluators and for detecting low quality answer. And for each one of these um, these uh, event, so like you can see here, there's a, an event an event keyword. Uh, we uh, presented to the, the, the evaluator in Cloudflowers the document, and he could click on the document and he could give uh, uh, his own uh, judgment if the, um, the news, the, the news wire, the, and so on, match, match the particular event. And we asked for each one uh, of, of the events uh, in, in connection to a certain to the, to a document to trip to at least uh, three different evaluators uh, so that we could make sure that uh, they, it was really it was really matching and, uh, and, and we consider it matching if it, at least two of them agreed that it was uh, that it was about uh, that the news was about that particular event um, right so here is uh, an example of the event that, uh, that we gathered uh, okay so for example you can see here an event that it is on an attack uh, on the Brussels airport uh, by ISIS. Uh, and um, what we found quite important was that different sources there, as you can see the different sources, and there is the time in which the, the, the particular, uh, in this case was a news, was published. And, and, uh, and you can see also the, 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 the title there. And um, what, in, in the project for which this collection was created, uh, was very important was to find out who was the first that talk about this particular event and if other um, new sources were uh, picking up on that first description so by copying for example the test or making a direct reference or maybe just reusing part of the text without without saying anything and then by looking at the snowballing kind of effect of other uh, new sources you know repeating this event and so on we could evaluate the importance of the event and so on. Uh, and here, as, as, as you can see, uh, there's an example of four of these events uh, which have slightly different uh, patterns and where you can see, for example, that in the first one uh, it was published first in the news, uh, while in, in all the other there was first a tweet that came out, followed by an RSS feed, followed then by, by news. Right. So, to conclude this, we basically created uh, uh, this, resource, uh, this resource, this collection, uh, that could be used by anyone working on, on uh, multi-source uh, heterogeneous uh, topping detection and tracking. 
which was what we used it for uh, in, in the context of uh, this project called SERI, uh, for uh, indeed event detection and timeliness analysis. But because we thought that this collection could have been used by anybody else, uh, we, we, made it, uh, we made it available and it is uh, available to download to anyone and you're welcome to use it. And if you need any other uh, information about this, I have the poster.